post as well as my travel adventures. I'm talking really fast and I'm not really sure if you guys can see me. Okay, there we go. Uh, the vehicle is parked. I just arrived at the TV station and we're about to go inside for another day. Let's go. emails first and then we're gonna check the rundown and see what we have on deck for today when we're coming in the studio and yeah very good So really here, just looking over uh, the rundown in the program that we use called iNews. What's up? <laughs> and then um, just making sure that we have everything, you know, ready to go. We do leave the televisions on at the, you know, all day long, actually. Um, one is on uh, the CBS affiliate and one is on the NBC affiliate, just so we can always keep an eye on our show and make sure everything is good to go. Uh, the whiteboards you see there, um, you know, had some deadlines that I have for our photographer. And then basically I just get to script writing for the show and just making sure that everything is fully produced. Um, I'm the only producer for my show, so gotta make sure everything is tip top. All right, you guys, so we did not end up filming uh, today because we had a couple of technical issues, um, but it's okay, we're gonna be back in the studio tomorrow. I did get a lot of uh, editing done, finished a couple packages, and I finished the rundown for uh, Thursday, which is gonna be really cool. I'm really excited to show you guys what we have in store for that, um, and hopefully I can take you in the studio a little bit longer, that way you can kind of see what it looks like and all that good stuff. Uh, but, you know, nonetheless, it was a productive day, and I'm so happy that I got to carry you along with me just for a little bit. Um, but I am home now, so it is time to go inside, rest, uh, do some reading, do a little bit of grad homework, um, and just kind of prepare for tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, though. All right? So stay tuned. Woo! What's up? Morning, guys. Morning. Your birthday's coming up. Adrian, when's your birthday? May 10th. May 10th? Oh, we have a ways to go. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. You guys gotta be real quiet. Morning. I don't think so. That's why it's, it's warm in here. Hey, did I turn it on? Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. But it's warm. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Maybe it's because of the lights. Right? No, I think they finally turned on the heater. Um, good. Heading on down to the city of South Padre Island for an outdoor sailing adventure that you're gonna want to take part in. Plus, there are so many amazing things happening. Uh, Make it short. Uh, but we're doing all three? Yeah. Yeah, we did yesterday with 30 seconds long. So. And didn't we adjust the rundown to be 30 seconds? I think so. So, I guess just take 30 seconds. So that way you don't have to like majorly fix anything. Oh, I just thought I turned it off, but I turned it on instead. <coughs> Are you ready? Um, here we just say good morning, Valley, right? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Good morning, Valley. Thanks so much for tuning in to on on today's show. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. Good morning, Valley. Thank you so much for tuning in. On today's show, we are heading on down to South Padre Island for an outdoor sailing adventure. Plus, there are so many great events happening throughout the Rio Grande Valley, so stay tuned for What's Up RGV. And we are heading on to the city of McAllen to visit Quinta Mazatlan and see what they got going on. Uh, almost. Almost, almost. Okay, the, and, we are, and we're visiting this team at Quinta Mazatlan for exciting upcoming holiday exhibits. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. Good morning, Valley. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we are diving on down to South Padre Island to check out... Dude, I don't know what's on here. Three, two, 
One. Good morning, Valley. Thank you so much for tuning in. On today's show, we are heading on down to South Padre Island to check out an outdoor sailing adventure. Plus, there are so many amazing things happening throughout the Rio Grande Valley, so be sure to stay tuned for What's Up RGV. And our team is heading on out to the city of McAllen to check in with the Quinta Mazatlan team about all the amazing outdoor exhibits that they have going on for the holiday season. All this and more. Show starts now. There. You got it, Bane. <laughs> Can you see it? I, I just like, uh, dude, I, I, I struggled right there. No, you got that one. That one was good. Ugh. Oh, what's up? That'll work. Uh, I like it. Okay. I'm gonna take a take a picture real quick. You, you, you. where do you mean? Why me? We always do that. I don't like to do pictures of really. We have to. What do you mean? You have a whole Instagram account. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good, very good, very good. Work it, work it, work it. Oh yeah, sorry guys, we were taking pictures. Anyway, we just did our today tease, and then after this, we're gonna go back to this, what, the office, work on the rundowns, and <laughs> go back to the office, work on the rundowns, and then after that, we shall prep for filming in the studio. Stay down. Mm-hmm. Right here, right here. <gasps> for real. A lot of times I'm just kind of following my own planner. I would say my superpower is definitely being organized. So just making sure that everything matches my planner according to what matches the shared lifestyle calendar that we have, making sure everything's in the correct folder um, for our team and just kind of taking care of all of that stuff. So I'm the one that manages our schedules, our appointments, you know, everything that we need um, and just making sure all that's good to go. Whenever I'm done with the shows and then of course the organizational portions of, you know, keeping the the show running then i'll just make sure that i'm answering emails and coordinating with my partner uh, and just taking care of the prep work before we go back into the studio it's kind of just a full cycle process all right we're in the studio and i've got to put on the anchor desk i've got to put on my microphone once I put on my microphone, I have my earpiece in already. I can't even tell. And then, what will we do? What will we do? I'm gonna make sure the cord doesn't show. It's kinda hard. Normally I have someone here to help me. We are flying solo today. Let's see. Hopefully. Wait, you know what? I can put it under. Let's see. Tuck that in. And for this part, I have a little hook coming out here. Pop this in. There we go. And then we'll hook this on. I'm 
starting at quad, right? Oh, team one. Copy that. Copy that. Let's Can you hear me throughout like a whole, a whole? Okay. Okay. All right. Let me go get. Okay, I'm starting at ten. Portions of today's show contain sponsored or taped content.
Thank you again so much for tuning in. I'm Danielle Bonda, and if you love South Padre Island, then listen up, because we are taking you to Commotion Outdoor Sailing Adventures by the Tequila Sunset Dock on the Bay. Here is manager and sailmate, Alessi Sloviski, with more. Take a look. So then after we're done recording, I just go back to the anchor desk and just kind of unmic and take off all my cords and wires and all that good stuff. Um, and then of course, because <laughs> of the times, you know, we Clorox wipe everything because, um, you know, other talent will be using the same equipment later on for other shows. Um, I do have my mic holster on my calf. And so I'll take that off too after I wipe everything down. I'm just kind of making sure that everything is nice and clean, especially with the glass table. There's often fingerprints anytime we'd like leave something on there um while we're filming so you know just be courteous for the next user um and then you know just kind of uh, leave the studio back to the way it was move any chairs back to the way they were etc etc so uh after that just kind of kind of you know go back to my office and um take care of what else needs to be done for the day after studio all right, you guys, that was a long day. We had a couple computer issues, had to call IT, but everything came out good. We're gonna show up tomorrow um, uh, kind of early just to make sure that the rundown is good and set up. Um, I was able to take you with me a little bit in the studio as promised. Um, and yeah, tomorrow is Thursday. We have a lot on deck for uh, tomorrow. It's gonna be really good and a lot of fun. Um, and what are we doing? Two, uh, no, no, yeah, one shoot tomorrow and then uh, recording the show in the studio and then some editing post-production and all that good stuff um, and then I'll show you a little bit on how we actually get the segments to the traffic and engineering departments uh, to air so yeah thank you so much for uh, coming along with me you know throughout the day and tomorrow shall be another good one all right we'll see you then So the next day, um, you know, just kind of prepping everything in the unit, making sure that that's our unit back there, number 27, making sure that everything is good to go with my partner. We carry the lights, the camera equipment, you know, all that good stuff in the vehicle. That way we can be ready to go to different on location shoots and stuff like that. So um, we do leave uh, the unit at the station in a locked garage type parking lot area. Um, it's not covered up over the top obviously, but it's all gated. And so we leave that there. That's our particular unit that we use for the lifestyle department. Uh, after that, go inside, make sure all is good. And then we get ready for studio time again. Prepping is the same thing, take off the face mask. Uh, you know, during this time, I do wear it everywhere and all day, except for when I'm on camera, of course. So just take all that off, put my microphones on. Those are my cords that you can see hanging in the back of my dress there. We have a mic, a mic receiver, and then we have just a couple other cords. And then as you saw earlier, I do have usually the, um, the mic holster and it's attached either to my calf or my thigh. And, um, and then that just kind of holds everything in place. And then I use different, you know, areas of the TV studio. So here you can see that I am at this little area that we actually call the T-Mon, uh, T-M-O-N. And so I just stand there and wait for that camera. That that camera is actually camera one. We do have three different cameras. Um, and so I just wait for my cues. And then once they pop me up on screen, it's kind of just a countdown situation. And then after that, it's just, you know, one, two, three, go, you know? So, um, you know, just kind of following the show. Um, I do produce 100% of my own shows. So, uh, I usually know, you know, everything the teleprompter is going to be saying. Um, and then I just kind of set things up. Uh, and then of course, well, today I was vlogging. So uh, I just wanted to make sure that you guys kind of had a little bit of a better view. Um, just so you can kind of see, uh, more or less what I do when I'm standing there, when I'm reading and you know, all that good stuff. Um, I do try to check my emails in between everything as well. It's a lot going on. <laughs>
say, just so you know, um, in the disclaimer, uh, it says portions of Valley Views, but I'm not going to say Valley Views. I'm just going to say portions of today's show, just because we've been instructed to kind of keep it generic for now. Just, I just want to give you a heads up so you don't think I'm like going off script or something. <laughs> okay, thanks. After I read through a couple portions of the show, um, which we actually call, you know, going through the rundown, um, you know, I just kind of get prepared again, wait for my cues in my ear. They're always keeping me updated and letting me know what's going on. Um, and then there are times when I have to move from one side of the studio to the other side. So my director, that's my director there, his name is Cody. He'll come in. Um, he's usually in the control room, but you know, he'll come into the studio and kind of talk to me a little bit, tell me if we're going too fast, going too slow, etc. And then he'll go pop back in my ear from the, the control room. Um, basically, I just follow his lead. He follows my rundown, my show and everything that I produced and then when I'm there I follow his lead and his directing and his expertise so it's kind of just a communication you know and that's the, the field of communication all right you guys I am home yet once again um, it was a productive Thursday we got a lot done uh, only a couple of issues in the rundown for today's show uh, as you can probably hear in my voice I'm just really tired it was a really long day um, we got to work early and we left late and yeah so uh, right now I'm just gonna kind of organize some of my files for tomorrow um, and yeah we had a couple of revisions on some paid segments and um, I had to write out some scripts for the web and for social media um, so we could post the segments, um, but yeah, let me see, is there anything else? I don't think I recorded for you when we went on our paid shoot this morning, um, but I'll insert a little bit of footage of that. Um, and then tomorrow we have another rehearsal at 2 p.m. And, and then tomorrow is Friday, so we're gonna have, um, remember, uh, the Halloween costume contest and, um, a station lunch and cooking thing. So, that should be fun. Um, I think that's about it. And tomorrow's Friday, so we're going to kick off the weekend right in time for Halloween. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. Uh, again, if you're not already following me on social media, I am at Danielle Bonna TV. Literally everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, everywhere. Danielle Bonna TV. Um, and yeah, so tomorrow is TGIF. Let's make it through the evening. I make it for tomorrow and make it a good one. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And day four, basically prep for studio means looking over the rundown in the program that we use called iNews, looking over every single block of the show or portion of the show, making sure all looks good, making sure all the scripts are accurate with spelling and grammar checks, making sure that all the little grommets and coding that we use in the system are, you know, looking at looking good. Um, of course, I don't really have anyone to over overlook my work, so I just kind of go through everything. And once I have a little bit of time after that, I'll kind of check a couple emails and um, check a couple of the projects that I have rendering and edit and just stuff like that so um, a little bit of post-production work a little bit of pre-production work and just making sure all the you know t's are crossed and i's are dotted for, <laughs> for the studios and, and to get ready for showtime all right I got my ISB here it's essentially a listening device Gonna place it on my person. Basically, the director can talk to me in my ear through this. Oh, last time I made the mistake of not putting it through my mask. There. And then this goes around, and basically I have like a little thing on my leg. You can see, I don't know if you can see that. So that's what's going on there. So, put that in my little pouch 
thing. And then you know what? What I can do Let us see. What I can do for now is go in the studio and get and get mic'd up. I think. go into the studio so we can get our mics on. on that I need, including this. See, that's my receiver and my stuff. Alrighty, let's see. Looks good in a while, let me plug this in. wait to turn it on. All right, perfect. We do record a couple of different um, shows a, a, in a single day. So, for example, I'll have four outfit changes in one day. Um, you know, just going to the bathroom and changing super quickly in between shows. There's definitely not a lot of time. Um, the news anchors, you know, definitely get a, the privilege of, you know, being able to take their time prior to shows and, you know, kind of fix themselves up in the dressing room. But literally, I have... I don't know, five, five to eight minutes in between every show. And so I have to, you know, be super quick. Uh, lifestyle and entertainment is definitely, definitely different, um, especially here at this station. So it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And I really enjoy it. You know, this is, this is my passion. Take a 
move the camera? Again, cleaning every single part of the microphone, the mic receiver, the desk, I mean, all that good stuff. Um, and, you know, just making sure everything is good to go for the next person that's going to be using the studio for their show. Um, so, you know, a, a lot of work, but it's uh, it's just to keep everyone healthy and clean during this difficult time. But uh, that pretty much is a wrap. <laughs>